For the month of August, we take a closer look at some of the records of Georgetown's Winya Indigo Society in their early school. The Georgetown County Library's archives contain hundreds of original documents that include teacher pay stubs, letters of correspondence, and miscellaneous invoices from area merchants. The society was formed by 1740, and much like the Georgetown Library Society, it included local planters who met regularly to discuss the news from London, the prospects for indigo, and other important issues facing the young colony. Tradition has it that the early group met in the Old Oak Tavern on Bay Street, and with its creation, Georgetown had a library, a school, and was considered something of an intellectual center. The society received a royal charter from King George II in 1758. By 1755, the Indigo Society had established a school where students might be taught the use of letters and the principles of religion. In May of that year, it was announced that 12 poor children would be educated by the school free of charge. Their tuition would be covered by scholarships paid for by the society. They advertised for a schoolmaster who would teach reading, writing, arithmetic, the English tongue, and Latin. The location of this early school is unknown, and many of the early scholars were the young sons of the area planters, their tuition paid for by their families. Students were given only a beginning education in Georgetown, and many would go to Europe to finish their education. In 1857, the Indigo Society built a two-story building on the corner of Prince and Cannon Streets on land given by Francis Withers. The building was designed by Edward Brickle White and it served as the school and headquarters for the society itself. In 1859, the Georgetown Library Society transferred all their books to the Winyal Indigo Society, and the combined library of the two societies must have given the members and students quite an impressive collection of books to enjoy. During the American Civil War, the building was used as a hospital for Union soldiers, and sadly, Many of the society's books and other items were carried away by departing soldiers. The school was divided into three classes. Primary with a tuition of $7 per quarter, intermediate with a tuition of $10 per quarter, and a senior class with a tuition of $13 per quarter. Each class learned spelling, reading, writing, geography, arithmetic, and history. The school was private until 1886 when it was merged into the public school system. A Mr. A. Hamby served as the superintendent of the school and his salary of $400 was paid by taxpayers in exchange for the use of the society's building. Teachers were hired from all over the state and today the Georgetown County Library retains many of the letters and correspondences related to the school in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. By 1879, Howard School had been established for the African American children in the county. Other schools in the area advertised in local papers for students, both as boarders and non-boarders. The Winyaw Graded School remained in its Prince Street location until 1908, when a large brick building was built on the corner of High Market and Cleveland Streets. 